good morning guys we are out on a cold day 32 degrees we had a little bit of um, a snow yesterday or during the night not much just a skim kids went a couple hours late to school which was nice I was hoping for a full snow day but I didn't get it but that's okay uh, so I am back out feeding by myself um, so I've had help now for a month I guess between kids being off from college and kids being off from uh, high school and elementary school so anyway I am back out it back, back at it now on my own and uh, anyway we've had a lot of snow here we were supposed to get a half inch earlier in the week and we got about five inches so that's been fun uh, but anyway so we're gonna get fed here today tomorrow the high is 24 degrees and so we want to make sure we get out plenty of hay today uh, so they're nice and toasty tomorrow keep all their little bodies warm but we'll check in with Minnie and uh, Minnie May and for those of you who are new to our channel Minnie is uh, our deaf and blind cow and so she had her baby uh, a couple weeks ago and is doing just terrific with it uh, she's an amazing mom and uh, just will bless your heart to watch her how she adapts and uh, is able to do pretty much anything a normal cow would do. So anyway, uh, we'll check in with her and uh, see how everybody's faring today in the cold weather. So come along and if you enjoy our videos, uh, give us a thumbs up and also please be sure to subscribe. We're trying to grow our channel and we're doing so, but uh, we would love to have you subscribe and come along with us for the journey. So all right, let's see. Oh, it is snowing again already. So we will uh, be out in some really nice weather here today. So, all right, we'll get our insulated clothes on and get going. All right, guys, so we got the tractor warming up. I'm going down here to uh, open the gap before I get on the tractor so I don't have to climb on and off. But I am decked out in my insulated clothes so I feel like the abominable snow woman but anyway at least I'm warm so we'll see I see um, Minnie her bale she hadn't even touched yet uh, Minnie even though she is deaf and blind and she does not like to be with the herd they make her a little nervous she's also extremely smart and she knows in this cold weather she and the baby both need that body heat from the other cows to stay warm so she's actually been with the herd lately which has been pretty good on her part so anyway um so i think that's why she's not eating the bale i normally just leave for her but we're gonna um see if we can put out a few bales and kind of feed heavy today since i know tomorrow 24 is a high that's gonna be a rough day the salt off of the truck from the roads where they've treated them so anyway they get uh, a nice bath there it'll be all kinds of cow tongue prints on the truck by the time I leave and there's Kane trying to see if he can find somebody to snuggle up to here this morning she's been letting us rub her especially if she's laying down but hi Minnie May hey Minnie Minnie smell hi darling what you doing huh oh <laughs> Minnie Mae says, not today. She's hiding on the other side of Mama. <laughs> All right, we'll leave her alone. <laughs> Minnie is moaning for her. Oh, all the snow, snow, snow. I know they're tired of snow. They get bored standing around. 
It didn't work out the way I wanted, but there it is unrolled. And Muffin has come over for a little snack. Hello, Muffin. All right, let's go take care of some more. Candy Yam is getting a little mid-morning snack. He's growing well, and everybody seems to be good. Looks like he's been rubbing his face in the mud. Okay, so this is probably one of the coldest days I believe I've ever fed in. The wind is blowing, which makes it just feel that much colder. But um, we've got a total of 10 bales out for them. There's only like 30, 32 cows here. Um, they sort of divide into two groups. And we call them the pets and the herd. <laughs> and so anyway, they're kind of like humans. Not everybody gets along. And so... I've got five on each side as far as bales. What are you doing, 590? Can you tell them hello? Have you been enjoying looking at my truck? Yes? All right. Um, so anyway, I've got um, five on each side. And uh, that should be plenty for them. And, you know, typically you would only feed the size bales we use um one bale for 15 cows usually each day um and so you figure two bales would have been enough probably except for the extreme temperatures and the fact that they can't get any grass because of the snow so 10 should definitely be enough so anyway we will go and load up some hay on the truck and take to our next stop because I don't have a tractor there and feed them a couple bales and then go get more hay and take it to another stop and feed them some so all right let's head out all right um, I went by and checked on group and they didn't need any hay I did put out a bale for Charlie's group but I forgot to film that so anyway I'm here at home um, and I'm going to put out some hay for the calves, if I can find them. I don't know where they are. They must be in the barn. Oh, look at the pond. Isn't it pretty with the snow on it down there? That's pretty. Oh, Paulo's in the barn. All right, I guess everybody's trying to stay warm. Bale sliced open and unroll down the hill. They have hay in the barn. They're just goofballs and don't want to go in and eat it.
got their hay unrolled. Let's go down and um, make sure we see them. <laughs> That's always beneficial. And um, if they're in the barn, I mean, that's fine. We'll just leave them. But they've got hay unrolled. They've got hay in the barn. And uh, there went my purse. That's always fun. All right. check their water too to make sure it's not frozen that's one of the fun things in winter but this will finish us up which oh bumpy bumpy will be nice all right oh sit up viewers all right um let's go down here and make sure we can check their water and make sure we see them and uh, I saw Apollo but hey still in there oh yeah y'all are all just in the barn taking life easy that must be nice all right let me check their water Make sure the little balls aren't frozen in the water are there and then we can go to the house If you've enjoyed our video be sure to subscribe if you have any questions about anything just leave a comment and we'll get back to it but hope you guys have a great day and um, we'll see you next time